Anola and Liam have come to a consular. Her name is Nancy. As Anola is in grief stricken, she is advising her. Anola, if we're depressed, your health will be spoiled and your family will be affected, and people will start using your weakness. All the people around you will be affected. Instead of getting depressed, fight against your problems and stand up for yourself. It's not easy, but if that's the only way, I will do my best. Thank you. Nancy, ma'am, I think I know what I should do. Liam and Anola return back with clarity. Steve, do you know where the kids went? It's already too late, they must be home. Don't worry, they will be back in no time. Oh, finally. Thank goodness, they are back. Hey, we are home. Brought your daughter safely back. Where did you both go? Why are you so late and why didn't you inform us before leaving? Now she is all fine. Yes, mom. Now I really feel relaxed. Fedeline, there is no point in bullying me. I am just like you, a girl who doesn't like to be bullied. Please stop this nonsense and leave me. You. You. How could you? You just back answered me. Mark my words, you will regret it. I feel so shameful. How could that little rat do such a thing? That's right. She is more powerful than I thought. To back can't so you take a lot of courage. How did she manage to do that? Wow. Oh. So you're appreciating her. Remember she will have to pay the consequences for it. I will not hesitate to even bash her out of the school. Liam overhears all the conversation and decides to warn Manola. When suddenly Federline notices him. Oh so you heard me. You will see what I can do. Lucas go. All done. Master. 